At least 70 people are feared dead in Kentucky after tornadoes and severe weather tore through multiple states, causing catastrophic damage. This here is ground video from Mayfield, one of the hardest hit areas. Two people died after part of an Amazon warehouse collapsed in Illinois when storms through rolled in last night. The town's police chief says it's not known how many people were inside the building at the time, and there is a search and rescue operation underway. Thousands of people affected by this storm are going to need help picking up the pieces. We've got CBS 4's Michael Labeda with the Colorado chapter of the Red Cross today. Michael, I know you spoke with them. So how can Coloradans help? Well, Kelly, eventually there will be volunteers from Colorado that may head down there to help. The Colorado Wyoming Area Red Cross, that is. But for now, they say the best way to help out is to give. This is one of the most devastating things that can happen to a family. The images coming out of the Midwest are hard to watch. The same storm that brought snow to Colorado wrought havoc on four states. When the system combined with the warm air from the Gulf of Mexico, it produced tornadoes that flattened towns and killed at least 70 people. What it's done here in Graves County and elsewhere, it is indescribable. But just as the storm came, so too will volunteers from the Colorado and Wyoming area Red Cross. We'll know more once the damage assessment has been done. They're standing by to provide the victims of this tragedy the basic comforts they'll need to start to move on. A warm shelter over their heads, um, meals, we provide emotional care, spiritual care. And as soon as they get the call, these Coloradans will go to help. We have Red Cross volunteers on standby, ready to pick up at a moment's notice. Uh, to head to help those that have been affected by the tornadoes. While many people may feel the call to help right now during the holidays, making sure you make the biggest impact is important. Money is the best thing to donate because it can serve not only immediate needs, but also long-term recovery needs. If you can donate some money, make sure you're donating to an established organization that will give the money and resources to the people that will need it the most. If you want to make it easy, you can just donate to the Red Cross. 90% of all donations, they go straight to um, disaster victims. Now, there are a few ways that you can donate to the Red Cross for a rundown about how to do that. Head to CBSDenver.com or we'll break it down there. In Denver, Michael Aveta, covering Colorado First.